first bait of fish of the day light on them but that is gorgeous oh no that is the most colorful one i've caught yet there's a third bait of fish in this net today is such an insane day guys oh look there's fish right here oh my god look at all the betta fish look at the color on that one but there's actually betta fish at the top of the fish trap look at all the colors beautiful little betta fish that is so nice welcome back to rob's cross guys in today's video we're going to be trying to net some wild betta fish from the abandoned spillway location but before we get into today's video please like the video subscribe channel and turn on post notifications let's get right into the video and so the location has changed a lot first time we came here this water let is spread miles down the canal and now it's only in this section because I guess the farm behind us somebody's been doing a lot of work in this area and they've been just decimating all the water lettuce which is the cover that the betta fish like to hide in so right here we've got this pocket where there's just a ton of water lettuce just mounds of it like there's still water down below but there's just so much water lettuce here and then come over here into this stream and this is where I think we're going to be fishing today to see if we can't catch any of them they do like the roots they hide up in there the water level is super low as well because the heat today is just crazy so very shortly i'm going to be throwing on my waiter but before we do that we're going to set a fish trap and we're going to be setting that fish trap in order to see if we can't trap any more fish there are more exotics in here like exotic cichlids like jack dempsey's fire mounts all sorts of stuff in the canal as well along with these betta fish there's a monster tilapia right there but as you can see the water level here is super shallow it's kind of like the perfect environment for these betta fish so if i had a bet i would bet they're probably worked up in this area somewhere we're going to be punching through all these water lettuce roots trying to see if we can't pull some up and i'm probably going to be throwing my fish trap in here because you can see down below i just spooked some fish away but there's actually a lot of fish down there i saw a smaller cichlid there's actually a lot of fish i see a lot of cichlids i don't know if you guys could see them too well because the water is kind of this like muddy green but there's a lot of opportunities here to catch some cool fish so we're going to set a fish trap down in this spot right here and then i'm going to throw on my waders and we're going to start netting around in the water lettuce to see if we can't catch any of these betta fish I think we're going to take the trap right here i got it loaded up with cat food this is actually the location i discovered that cat food was actually a really good bait but we're gonna throw it there it might roll in deeper if not no worries but it's a super fine mesh just in the event we catch any smaller fish in the trap they shouldn't be able to escape and i did remember to zip it up i did remember so we shouldn't have anything fall out if if not that would be really sad but I zipped it. I zipped it up. But now I'm going to get on the waders and we're going to start netting around on the other side of the canal to see if we could catch anything. Oh, wow. Look at all these little baby fish. This canal is literally like teeming with life. Hmm. We might try to net. Oh, what is that down there that's darting around? Now, this is the really scary part where we find out. Oh, fish. There's a fish right there. But this is the scary part where we find out just how deep this body of water is. It looks like there's ground below, but uh, this might not actually be ground. We're going to see just how deep I sink in i guess oh okay okay we're good it's not actually that bad Ooh, look at this mound of stuff right here but there's also metal scraps in here so i do have to be careful of that but we're gonna just net inwards like this luckily the animal trails are gonna provide a little spot for us to inspect each net but let's see anything in here hopefully no water bug oh my god but as you guys know, I literally hate water bugs. Um, also, that's going to be where the keeper bucket is. It's the flattest ground I could find. We're going to have to be wary of the birds because they will pick off fish as we catch and we've learned. But I'm not seeing anything in this net. We're just going to throw it all back in the water just in case. Okay, I feel pretty comfortable down here, honestly. It's pretty easy to move around. The waders keep me safe. Shout out to uh, the person who got them off my wish list. Your name is escaping me now, but not looking like there's anything in this net. I know for a fact that fish love structure. They love stuff to hide under, something that keeps them feeling safe. So it's only a matter of time before we actually catch something out of here. Dump that right there. Anybody? Oh, what is this? Oh, that's lame. It's just a silly little bluegill. Regardless, the first fish of the day, um, we're definitely going to just throw him back because obviously what are we going to do with a bluegill? The lighting goes kind of crazy right now. But this is just the name of the game. We're just going to keep flying around, catching stuff. Hopefully one bluegill on the day isn't too crazy, but these roots are super thick. I mean, there could be fish in here and we're just not seeing them. You know how it goes, but we're going to get all this back in the water. This root structure, all of this is just looking really crazy. So we're going to net up in here. Oh, oh, no, I don't want this to fall. It's the last thing I want, but we're going to see if there's anything in this net. Not really seeing much. Oh, look at that. He almost escaped us. 
Guys, first bait of fish of the day. Look at this guy here. Oh no. The last thing I want is him to fall into the water, but first bait of fish of the day, guys. We're gonna get him rinsed off. Please don't slip out of my hands, please. Guys, look, check this out. We caught the first bait of fish of the day. What a beautiful fish. Kinda hard to get good light on him, but that is gorgeous, guys. So we're gonna get him in the keeper bucket over there. He's a really cool, oh. No, got him. Oh my god, we almost lost him. Oh man, I would have been really sad, but we're gonna get him in the water. Um, we're gonna have to keep an eye on the bucket too because the birds around here love to hunt the buckets. But just a couple nets in, guys, and we're actually able to successfully catch a betta fish. So I'm pretty hyped. I hope I'm not spooking too many right now as I trudge through this super thick stuff. But I'm also hoping I don't get a metal rod on my foot. So we're gonna get the net and we're gonna get right back to it. I wonder how many, I think honestly, I'm gonna try to scoop up all this water lettuce to just see how many betta fish we might be able to pull up in here. Um, this net, I might try to just, no, nah, it's like near impossible to try to sort through this in the water, but maybe if there's fish in here, the water will separate them from the net or into the net. Oh, nope, just dragonflies. I think I see a mosquito fish down there. Regardless, nothing I'm really interested in, but I think we're done to work through all this water lettuce because I have nothing better to do today. <laughs> so we're gonna go back to the, original method and just slap it on down there throw this oh, oh yeah we got to get this back in the water oh no look at that i saw the blue as soon as it dropped it wait oh no okay this is very dangerous i got to be very careful handling these guys we're, we're gonna actually rinse them off in the net so i don't accidentally drop them this should work hopefully he's, yeah he's too big to go through the net thank god but guys look the second beta fish of the day we're gonna get him in the bucket as well wow that is probably the prettiest one i've caught look at the color on it that is absolutely beautiful wow look at that all right <laughs> Time to make the trek over to the keeper bucket. But a second beta fish. Okay, I think today's the day we might catch a ton because it seems like we're doing really well right now. Hopefully, I do not drop this. Beautiful little beta fish. This one's got a lot of blue. We're gonna throw her right in there. I think it's female. I'm not sure if it is. I'm not exactly too familiar with beta fish, but if you guys know whether or not that's male or female, definitely comment it down below. Um, it is super hot outside, you know. <laughs> I'm wet, dude. <laughs> I'm sweating. It is 90 degrees outside and I'm wearing waders. But it's worth it because we're catching a lot of cool stuff. So, yeah. Oh, I'm so small. We're just going to keep fishing. Let's see what we caught in here. No, I don't think there's anything in that. This stuff is gross. I'm, I'm going to smell so bad. Not seeing much. I'm getting melted right now, guys. The sun is so brutal. Nothing in that net. Ooh, what is this right here? Look at that. Anything fun? Any cool little betta fish lurking around? Oh no, my god. Just a lot of little bugs. Oh my god. <laughs> a lot of bugs. Oh, that's no good. I'm gonna put you guys back. I don't wanna deal with that. Gross. Leave me alone. We're gonna go around to the middle section here. Oh, big net. Big net. Oh man. This is a labor. But if you guys enjoy this kind of content, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Turn on post notifications if you wanna see more videos like this. You already know the drill. But we're gonna drop this one down up top right here. Oh, what is that? Oh my God. Wow, I think we caught the first African cichlid. Oh my God, this happy Easter. I'm kidding guys, it's an Eastern happy cichlid, but look how beautiful he is. Oh wow. I just rinsed him off, but look at the color on this fish. That thing is gorgeous. Unfortunately though guys, we won't be keeping it because I don't actually know where I'm going to be putting him. He is however, a really, really, really pretty fish. We're just gonna throw him back in the water where we caught him from. Wow, I'm just gonna, <laughs> so pretty. Look at all the colors. It's literally like a rainbow fish. So we're gonna just send him off to where we caught him. Be free with your buddies. Have babies and be beautiful like you've been doing. <laughs> Wow, such a pretty fish. Most of the fish we catch today, guys, though, are also going to be going to a friend of mine because I don't actually have anywhere to keep these babies. These betas, I just enjoy catching them. So I figured, why not try today? And with that being said, we probably aren't keeping like the majority of the fish we catch because they're not compatible with the fish I catch and I don't have anywhere to put them. But, oh my God. Stop looking at me. There's nothing left in that net, I checked it. We're gonna go over to this little iceberg right here. These algae mats, some of them are just so thick. Oh, I'll just punch a rock, let's see. Oh, that is gross. <laughs> We're gonna just throw all this stuff back. I'm not seeing any betta fish in here. Beta fish are basically the only thing we're gonna be keeping today because I got a friend who really enjoys them and we're gonna be throwing them his way for sure. The gang stalkers are getting sophisticated. Look at them. Anything cool in the net? So hot, guys. It's hard to stay high energy. And I'm literally getting fried out here. But we'll check this net real quick. You know the vibes, you know the drill. Oh. What is it? Ah, oh, lame. It's a little bluegill. Nothing too crazy. We're just gonna throw him back in the water. 
Have fun, my boy. I want to get up in the meat of this little thing right here. The heart of this has got to have the most fish, right? But we're going to try to get up in the meat of this. Some really thick pads, huge net right there. I don't know what this algae is. It's like just some kind of hair algae, but this is a monster net. All right. Let's see if anything's in this. Mm. Oh, wow. Look at this beta. This one just dropped from the roots. Oh, my God. God, that one is beautiful. That is the most colorful one I've caught yet. Jeez, that thing. Oh, please don't jump away. Please don't. That would be so sad. That thing is gorgeous. I don't know what the lighting looks like on them. We'll get them washed off real quick. That thing is beautiful. Look at that beta fish. Just such good color on her. I'm going to get her in the bucket. I'm pretty sure this one's probably female. It looks female. I should try to find a way to get this bucket closer. Because it's kind of a hike to get over here. But this... Oh, that was close. She nearly eluded us <laughs> at the very last second, but she landed in the keeper bucket. We're going to keep searching through that net as, you know, I try to like traverse this terrain. <laughs> it's literally so hard to do this. Oh, God. Please like and subscribe, guys, please. But we didn't quite finish looking through this net. Let's see if there's any fish in here, any fish left. Oh, look at that. Another beta fish. This is like the ones we typically catch. It's just super dull colored, super dark. Um, we're not going to waste much time. Honestly, I'm going to hold on to it and just make sure there's nothing left before I have to go back over to that bucket. The sun is super hot. I do not want these fish to cook. <sighs> I'm not seeing. Oh, oh my God. Look at that. There's a third beta fish in this net. Wow. This one's like this, this other one where it's kind of dull. Get these girls washed off. And we're gonna just run over to the bucket real quick. Today is such an insane day, guys. We caught two more beautiful little beta fish. Oh no. No, no, no. Almost escaped me for the third time. I mean, as you guys know, beta fish are like notorious jumpers, but I don't even know how many beta fish that was. If you guys know how many beta fish we've caught so far, comment it down below. I've just been ripping through these weeds like crazy, and we still have a fish trap to check. Today's kind of crazy. Today is crazy, and I'm dying. I'm dying out here. Boobies. I got breast tissue right there. That's crazy. All right, you know the drill. We're just gonna get all this back in the water. The sun is just drying this stuff out so fast. So even if we didn't find all the fish in it, it's better just get it back in the water. And we're nearly like halfway through this netted portion. Like we've been netting through nearly all of these mats right here. And then obviously we've been returning them to the water just in case, well, you know, we don't want to like destroy the habitat. This stuff is so heavy. Oh my god. Back to my little table right here. Anybody home? No, I'm not seeing anything. I saw a couple little smaller fish. Nothing cool though. So honestly guys, the heat's starting to kill me. I'm getting kind of I'm getting torn up. Like to be real with you, I'm getting torn up. So we're gonna take a few more nets here to see if we can't catch any more fish while we're here. And then I think I'm about ready to check that fish trap. Because guys, I am literally dripping in sweat. Like I don't know if you could see it, but like I'm cooking. Like, this is not healthy. I'm gonna probably try to scoop up the majority of all this stuff. Oh, oh no, I can't go any deeper than that. But we got in this center pocket here. Might as well try to pick up a few more. I might have just heard my waders rip. Oh, this is such a fat net. Oh, look, there's fish right here. Oh, wait, I gotta be careful. I don't want them to jump out towards me. Please don't, please don't, please don't, please don't. Oh my God, look at all the beta fish. All right, I gotta act quick. I don't want them to jump out and escape. Look at that. There's one right here, a beautiful little beta fish. Just get him in the net for now. A second beautiful beta fish right here. Wow, look at the color on her. I gotta be careful searching through this net. We got a bluegill right here. Lame, go away. Anything else? Any other fish in this net? Oh God, that was crazy. I'm gonna be very careful searching this because I don't wanna miss any. That, that net had so many fish. Did I just feel another fish? Oh no, ew, what is that? I don't know, I don't know, wanna, I don't know, I don't wanna, I don't, I don't wanna touch that. Anything else? Oh man, that was crazy. I don't see any more fish in here. I think that was all of them. Wow, what the hell? Oh man, well, hopefully there's no more beta fish in here. And the only reason why I'm saying I hope I don't see any more is just cause if I don't find them, I can't leave them on the bank and if I throw it back, I'm gonna be really sad if I see one swim away from us. But I'm not seeing any left. Oh, oh, there's two. Oh my God, these are the prettiest ones of the day. Holy crap. Look at the color on that one. That one is literally gorgeous. It's got yellow, the other one's kind of red, but that one is beautiful. Look at the colors on this beta fish. I don't know if that one's male or female, just because the color is so good, but in this single net, we caught five beautiful little beta fish. Look at these guys. That is so incredible. Wow. I, I gotta get them in the keeper bucket. Wait, is that five or is that six? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, cool. 
That is beautiful. That is insane. I think, guys, honestly, I'm going to call the netting right here because there's no way it could get any cooler than catching some beautiful beta fish like this one. We're going to get her in the bucket. That is a gorgeous fish. She goes in the bucket. She goes in the bucket. Two, three, boom. four. There's a fourth beta fish in here. Yep, there he is. They are so, the darker ones blend in. Even the ones with the blue blend into the water really, really good. Just because this water is such murky water. But we got two more beta fish right here. I really don't want to drop them. Get them in the keeper bucket right there. I'm sure the keeper bucket is looking absolutely insane with all the beta fish we've been catching. Double check. No one left behind. But with all that out of the way, guys, I am literally cooking. It is 90 degrees. The waders are hot. I'm hot. Both visually and physically. Of course. <laughs> but we're going to get the beta fish on an aerator even though i know they could breathe air we're still going to get them on an aerator and then we're going to pop over to the little puddle behind me see if we catch any fish out of that fish trap and then we're going to bring them over to my friend's house he's a super super good guppy breeder little lab bears he's all about this kind of stuff so he'll be the perfect person to take all of these beta fish so we're going to get these guys in the car and we're gonna check on that trap. Now it's time to check the fish trap, guys. And I actually also transferred all the betta fish that we caught into a white bucket, so it's easier to see them in the bucket. With that orange, it's a little tough. Plus, this one has a lid. This is where I keep my cast net. Shout out to Eric Galarza for the gift. But these guys are super cool. I think we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine betta fish in here. And now it's time to pull the trap. I'm gonna probably pick it up out the water and run with it into the sunlight because the entire canal where the trap is is completely shut out. But I'll be able to see the fish before you do it there is fish in there and i'll let you guys know if we were oh no way you guys might be able to see it but there's actually beta fish at the top of the fish trap right now man i don't know if it's even focusing but i see beta fish at the top of the trap but i'm just gonna pull this up and we're gonna run with it to give them the least amount of exposure as possible oh oh my god there's so many fish in here look at all the colors i don't know how much of this you guys are able to see but we caught some insane fish out of this fish trap I see some gorgeous little betas here. I'm gonna pick up all the betas. Oh, that one just jumped straight into the bucket. You guys are also a little bit sideways. I apologize for that. Doing the best I can. We caught some Eastern Happy Cichlids. Oh, wow. Look at this beautiful male. Look at this beautiful male Eastern Happy Cichlid we caught. Matter of fact, guys, I'm just gonna pick you up. Look at this beautiful Eastern Happy Cichlid we caught. He is absolutely gorgeous. The colors on him is insane. Really, really beautiful catch. We're gonna get him back in the canal. But look at this, guys. Look at the betta fish in here. Look, we got one betta fish right here. Oh, they're so jumpy. Hey, please stop. Please stop. I'm trying to help you. We got two betta fish so far out of the fish trap. This is beautiful. Any more in here? Actually, what is this? Oh, another, a little female Eastern Happy. Back to the street. But we caught, oh my God, look. Another betta fish. Beautiful little betta fish. That is so nice. Look at her. We're going to get her in the keeper bucket. We're only keeping the betta fish right now. I see a lot of fish stacked up in this corner. Actually, a ton of fish. Let's see if we could get them out into the middle. It looks like we caught a ton of bluegill, some jewel cichlids, and more beautiful betta fish, guys. This is so insane. Oh my God. I see a few more. There's two. We're going to get these out first because, you know, they're like the prize right now. I see some beautiful cichlids in here as well, though. Two more gorgeous little baby betta fish. Actually, they're not babies. They're pretty, but. Boom, get them in the bucket. And he, oh my God, look at that. Wow, guys, just literally so insane. Trying to handle these and also catching them in the wild is incredible. Oh <laughs> wait, where did that one go? That one has such insane color. Look at this beautiful little betta fish. This one's like almost powder blue. This betta fish is gorgeous right here. So we're gonna get her in the bucket. And it looks like the rest of these are just like cichlids, I think. Bluegills, jewel cichlids. We caught some beautiful jewels out of here. These guys were not keeping though. Beautiful little jewel. We'll get him back in the bucket. Well, actually, in the we'll get him in the water. I don't think we caught any more betta fish. It looks like we just caught a bunch of cichlids right here. Just gonna double check the net, just or the trap, just to make sure there's no betas left behind. Oh, for a second. No way. This is a Jack Dempsey. Bro, it looks like a almost like a hybrid. Wow. Dude, that is literally insane. Oh my God, we're keeping him. Okay, he's the exception. We're keeping him. That is beautiful. We literally, wow. I didn't even see him. I wanted, I thought it was just a jewel cichlid, like a really nice jewel. But it looks like the rest of these guys are actually not betta fish or anything we really want to keep particularly. So we're going to get everything in this bucket on air. And then we're going to get the betta fish back to my friend Phil's house. And then we're going to get that Jack Dempsey cichlid back to my house and add it into one of my fish tanks. Because that thing 
is sick. That thing is so cool. All right, guys, so now we're in Phil's fish room, and this is these are all of his tanks, so he's really good at breeding these libraries. He's an excellent fish keeper, and he's going to be the perfect candidate to give these beta fish to. You can see right here, he's he, he just breeds. He breeds like crazy. This guy f <laughs> but we got a bunch of black quarries in here, all kinds of guppies, some show guppies. He's got literally so many fish breeding everywhere. Anywhere you look, any of these tanks just has dozens, if not hundreds of fish in any given tank. Even all these little breeder boxes, they have tons of fish. Breeding little plecos. He's got all sorts of stuff, all sorts of guppies. So he's going to do really well with the beta fish. We're going to be leaving the beta fish here with him. And then we're going to be taking those, that little Jack Dempsey we caught back to the house. Probably add him into like the 150 gallon tank with a monster fish. I know it's not ideal, but I do want to see him in a tank. And I mean, Jesus Christ. Christ, dude look at all these black corridors it's so insane how good phil is at breeding these things so he's gonna do well with the beta and we're gonna head back to the house we're now back at the house right next to the 150 gallon planted monster fish aquarium and the two fish we caught in the last video are chilling right here on the driftwood they're doing really really well and the jack dempsey should do fine in this tank the biggest threat is arnold but arnold's pretty big he already digested basically well, actually no he didn't look <laughs> he still got a pretty good belly on him but marty and arnold are the biggest threat to this fish I think they'll be good because we've got smaller cichlids in here that are managing just fine. So we're going to take this little Jack Dempsey we caught and add him into the tank because he's big enough to go with these guys. And I'm really curious. Oh my God. Okay, Morty. Guys, stop. Oh no. Wait a second. I didn't feed him. No, no, no. Stop it. Oh, they just kissed. <laughs> All right, but he should be good after he gets adjusted. I think the catfish will leave him alone. That was a fluke, guys. Just ignore that even happened. No, 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 no. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> um, They think they're being fed. That's why. Whenever I turn the lights on and then also touch the water, they think there's food in the tank. So that's why they're getting a little rowdy. It should settle down. They should be fine. He just happens to be hanging out in a really bad spot. But that I'm pretty confident that's actually a wild caught jack. That Morty. Morty, cut it out. Stop it. Be nice. Be nice to the new tank mate. But see what I mean? This is why I typically feed before we add stuff. I didn't just now, and I really should have, but he should be fine. Arnold, Arnold, behave yourself. Arnold, oh no. Guys, listen, it's going to be okay. I swear we're going to give, be able to, look, Arnold's just, they think there's food. That's why they're acting like this. There isn't food. The shovel nose thinks there's food. They'll calm down and then he'll be good. But that is it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoy the video. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications if you did enjoy. Definitely turn on post notifications so you can see whether or not he makes it. I believe he'll be good. They're just a little bit rowdy because I didn't feed them before I added stuff in. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.